What's up guys, this is the Wolfman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to round off, round off where we left off, after a lot, five lots of fighting the Americas, we have decided to engage the Russian fleet. So my goal will be to capture as many of these ships as possible, and these war galleys and fifth rates will go off to trading fleets. So let's get to it. Um, I like to think, well I hope, well, I like to think I got, I, got a, I got a bit of battles. Um, but, you know, it's superiority. So I'm going to alternate my first and second rates. Keep my... not. Oh no, it's not a great position to be in. So let's scoot all the way over here. Yeah. Hercules, Esperanza, San Pascual, Ruby, San Fermin. Nestra Sonora de la Concepcion Del Rosario y las Animas. I'm to be honest, I'm just really pleased that they've actually gone and actually made um the names are actually good. Like they're not just you know, more more regular Spanish sounding names. They're actually Okay, so I want them to be I don't want them to be too much against the. I don't want them to go start off too far against the winds. So that's where I might have to go. Too much. It's a long old, long old fleet. Um, so let's hit play. The best naval commanders adapt and just go here. To their environment. So we will. So I'll be able to head them off. Um, Things got a bit laggy there for a minute, but yeah, it's going to be a bit slow, just because the weather gauge isn't great. So let's triple speed it a bit, just to get us more within range. So that's Vama, a nice second rate. The second fleet down here is a couple of fifths. Yeah, it's going to take a. It's going to take a while, unless I turn even more this way. Because I'm slightly going into the wind now. Yeah, I think they're probably going to get... They're going to close the distance much faster than I'd like them to be. There we go, got some more sails unfurled once you make the turn. Yeah. And if they start to get ahead of us, then I will just turn my line to meet them following the wind direction. Which might result in a bit of a gap in my lines as they make this turn. Um, but that's why I've got some big heavy ships. To be honest, I might want to start a turn now actually. Well, not quite that aggressively, but you know, sail in this sort of direction just so I can form up more of a battle line. So have, when they get into range I'll have more ships um, in position. Not much to do, apart from just triple speed it and see what happens. Okay, now then we're coming on a bit too fast, so let's sail it more like that. Nope, they want to... There you go. Yes, yeah, so you can already see the line starting to form between Esperanza and San Pascual. Um, but we will get the first shots off on Tavana, and hopefully, if my ships move fast enough, we can just halt their line. So what have they got? Okay, let's go to normal speed for a minute. So they've got Varna, Samson, former British ship maybe, Raitney, Mangalatitan, whatever that is. Oh wow. I just realised. So this is definitely a captured ship of some sort then. Because of the detailing on the hull compared to the rest. Yeah, I might have to do that. Because they are moving at a quite a fast rate. So 
So I'm gonna fire. I'd like to fire a few broadsides off with round shot, and then I'd like to switch these guys to chain shot just to knacker the the, the, the um, sails on this on the second rate. So fourth war galleon, fifth, fifth, fourth war galleon, fourth, second, second, second. So three seconds making up the bulk of their uh, the rear of their fleet. So the Russian naval ensign, ensign looks pretty good. Okay, let's. We might be. Yeah, we're in position. So the first shots have been fired at Varna, and we've hold the sails, but no damage. But still, at least we are firing. So it's going to be a bit dodgy because more of their guns will come to bear faster than mine. Firing into Esperanza, who also failed to do anything, although they are on fire. So if I turn off fire, it will. May try to put it out. Second volley from Hercules into Varna. Finally managed to knock out a gun. Just keep sailing straight and use the lines to merge now. Still too far out for chain shot by a wire, by quite a margin. Varna's got the first volley off onto Esperanza. Your fire's now. Who was the one on fire? You. You're now a little longer on fire, so fire will into Samson, who's already suffered damage actually. So. Yeah. Let's keep this say the formation going. More of my ships are finally making the turn, but oh god, the heavy first rate. These first four are going to be in a mighty weak position. Still too far out for chain. So this is why at least I do have. Oh, you're on fire, so. Turn off fire well again, unfortunately. Nah, just fire at will. And you get another set of shots now. You're probably going to be all right for chain shot next time. So what I might do is break off this line, make them do form line astern, and then start making the turn now. Rather than waiting, make them go now. So that does mean I've split my formation to two lines. Um, but it's manageable, I think, because right now the heavy ships are towards the rear of the fleet. There you go, get some chain shot off. Hopefully they can knock a mass down. Certainly not. What the hell are these guys doing? Let's break these guys off immediately because they're not going to be any use if they're all floundering around back there. So... New arm. Okay, your formation is turning. God, this heavy first rate is slow. Okay, I want them to pivot. Pivot and weigh anchor, just keep firing. Chain shock as everyone's moving in. If 
fire broadside into this ship. Bam! A lot of damage, and we're also putting in some shots into her mast. She is dismasted and she is wavering. Again, she is routing. Things on the go. Yep, so these first ships could well end up getting lost. It'll come down more to Should get some chain shot on the go because there's lots of ships in the range that will be able to be shot at with chain shot. So this is where the nimbler side of the fleet comes in. And to be honest, I might want to keep you sailing because right now they are just or maybe I want to do this and try and knock out that second rate ship oh no it's, it's wavering already so let's do chain shot pivot you around to the right and then let's blast this fifth rate blast them Nothing. Oh, Savannah's back. Okay, so let's sail them up here. So we could end up losing Esperanza, but to be honest, it's 78 men, 200. Board Mangalaten, so get round shot on the go. You keep firing chain. You keep firing chain to try and knacker some of these some of these ships. There you go. Samson's utterly dismasted. There you go, now this little war galleon's gonna have a bit of grief, but their second rates are coming into the fray, so I'm probably gonna wanna do this. Because that would be excellent if I could get some shots off into the front of him. Okay, so you keep on sailing, you keep on sailing, because these have kind of, I've kind of blocked the routes here, so if I can take out this ship, you are also surrendered, lovely, if I could fire, to be honest, you might, I might just sit this guy here, because he can fire into um, Isidore and Tivoliv, spin you to the right, so get a good broadside off into the masts of that second rate. There you go, main mist is gone. Let's send this guy to to uh, capture the fourth rate, and let's curve this second rate around. Yep. So this guy, because it's if the, if the, if I was firing round shot, I'd be concerned that these guys would be absorbing the shot. But as they're not, because it's just chain shot, they'll be firing high, taking out the masts. Another mast gone. Lovely. Oh, this ship is going down. Ruby is on fire. There you go, the war galleon's under fire. Oh, the second rate's come back. Let's pivot you around and fire onto Varna again. She has come back. Ruby surrendered, which means this ship is kind of protected from the wrecks. But yeah, just fire round shot into the side of Varna. Put this gun to chain shot so you can fire at the masts. There's the second Saratov. Okay, fire round shot if that war galleon wants to be difficult about it. There you go, the fourth freight is also bundled in, has lost a main mist. So I'm just going to weigh anchor and just get as many shots as possible into that second rate. My first rate is pulling off some sick manoeuvring skills. OK, 
Okay, now if I grape... Because if you get within range, you're firing down onto their decks. Maybe just, just straight out round shot. There we go. Turn on can uh, chain shot. I don't know, Varna's back, but I want to try to get some shots into Zarat Saratov. Definitely chain. So just hold there and just pour fire into them. They get my heavy first to finally get into position to fire on the second rates. And my main fleet, these three, god, they're not going to be any use at all. I oh, know, I want to fire. I oh, know, I want to fire a chain shot with my. Oh, they've only got six guns on the right, so they may as well fire a round shot to the left. Nope, he's routing, which is fair enough. So let's turn on round shot if they're gonna be if he's gonna be gutter firing. Ah, oh, you were back for a second. So their guys are beating my guys at the minute. Chain shot to try and knock out the some sails. May as well just keep this guy sailing on in this direction. Switch this guy to chain, because he'll fire some shots into the second rate. <laughs> Esperanza, he was so close to being. Yeah, I'm losing. I am losing that battle. So come on, fire it will onto the right, far onto Saratov. And also far on your left into Gavril. Good, rear mist is gone. So, let's peel my fleet down here. I don't want to get raked by the second rate. There we go. Nope, completely another miss. The trouble is, my heavy first is not an agile warship. Let's bring these guys up here for what good they're going to do. To be honest, I might quickly pivot the ship myself. No, it's not going to happen. He's firing into the combat through his own warship, which is better for me. But yeah, now my heavy ships are getting into position. So this second's going to get a, dev a pretty bad shot, actually, into my Sint Furmin, the f my this ship. Okay, you... Let's get you away from that ship and pivot. Let's get the ship fired around shot, because right now they're in a gutter fighting position, so just... Yeah, that's fair enough. Oh, God! Some famous on fire, fire, turn off fire at will. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, you should be concerned. You're right next to a ship, then blow up. Okay, let's pivot this ship around far onto the war galleon. Let's pivot. Okay, now now this is where the, uh, the battle plans start to just kind of break apart. Fire a broadside right, but you've got seven guns. But the galleon is still going in. They've got they've got more crew, so that's not a terrible idea. If they were trying to board. They are concerned because they are dismasted. But they've got enough guns on them though to do some mischief.
hey, these, <laughs> this secondary squadron might do something useful. So let's pivot you. Let's pivot you. Let's pivot you. You just keep on going. Now let's get some round shot, actually. Turn on fire at will, because now you're okay again. You're on fire, so turn off fire at will. Well, actually, I'll turn around. There we go. Yeah, they are trying to board me. So let's sail you into a position here. Switch to round shot. Yeah, they're already routing, but that's okay. Huh. Sorry about that, guys. Something just popped up and <laughs> stopped that and uh, minimized my screen. So I, for a second there, thought I'd lost my recording. But I have not. So pivot, pivot, pivot. Everyone fire onto Satiri Oriole. Fire! A wee measly little broadside that I can fire. But this fourth rate. It's gonna get a rumbling. Gonna get a rumbling set of fire from. Wait, what have I got? You no, know, there's no way. Oh, it's because the crew's so knackered. Okay. So, okay, so why did you tell me you, did, you only had two guns ready to fire on the broadside? But yes, this is the last ship remaining. And it's a single masted, fourth rate ship of the line. So let's wait for them to get out of range of San Pasquale. Which is on fire and they're losing all their crew. That thing's gonna blow up. And then... Pivot! Fire! Surrender, you dog. But yeah, let's just keep these guns ready to fire. If they surrender, I might be able to save my. I might be able to save San Pasquale. And then, oh no, crews in the water, so they're not dead. They're just not on board. Oh no, you're gonna blow. There goes. There she goes. Go on, San Fermin. Rotate. Get more guns to bear. Look at all those guns firing. You brave men. But it is all for naught. You're routing, so let's send ye uh, continue for sure because I would very much like to have to see you killed. Well, not killed, captured. Surrender! Come on, you should be able to fire your guns as well. So, zero out of two. I must just have no gunners on that side of the ship. So I don't know how she can she can claim to route <laughs> in that condition, but let's triple speed it, because she ain't going to be going anywhere fast. Except when Hercules spins around, 
And when this ship spins around. Make the turn a bit tighter. Yeah, she's routed. Well, she surrendered. Did generally okay when it came to ship handling. Oh, yes. So I lost one ship. That was the ship that blew up. So let's claim the lovely Russian fleet. Mine. Not bothered about the prize money. Um, because I don't really need it. So let's get this fleet. Out to sea. No, wait, what's the best resources at the minute? It is furs, but I can't get any of those things. So I don't want coffee, I don't want ivory, tea. No, I don't, don't want more spices. I'll go for more. I'll go for. I'll just send them to West Africa. I want to free up a port slot to get them a straw. Get them ready for refit. And then you can't really do anything, but I want to get you into Ricardies to repair. So I've had lots of options about what to do with Paris. I'm definitely going to trade it away, but the decision about how I'm going to trade it to, I'm not sure. And that'll be a decision for me to make um, at the time. So, I'm, so the main effort is actually over here in the Americas. Fighting against the United States. Everyone's all repairing. No infrastructure's being built, as is you. Yours is fine. Not gonna bother with a coaching in here just yet. Um, eh, plus three happiness. They're already quite happy. I think all my investment's actually okay. What about research? Research is still ongoing. Okay, let's get you reorganized procurement. Let's drive the cost of my armies down. That and it also means I can build two new military buildings. Can I not build a gunnery school? Oh, it's because because I need mass. Okay, um, you get you back into Veracruz. You've got this rake that's just still running up the Americas. To be honest, I might just run him into Puerto Bello. Then let's recruit. Uh, a galleon, just because it seems more fluffy now. So you're armoured. Got a nice navy here. Are we building anything else? Nope. So let's take this chap and his mighty fleet. And if so, if I've sent a trade fleet to the West African Trade Theatre, let's send a battle fleet to the West African Trade Theatre to clear it out. And then let's start recruitment of a of a, another fleet. Now they got soon. That soon spends my money. Forty-four thousand. Sweet trade is doing very very well. Just need to clear out. Just need to keep fighting the Americas in the minute. But looking at the timer, oh, actually, what are you? Let's get you into port. So this fleet's blockading the blockading uh, Yorktown. Oh yeah, so I forgot about this guy. To attack uh, Fort Nashwack, which I will capture and then fortify. Um, but yeah, don't look at the time, man. I'm definitely at the end of this part because I've overran. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've, hope you've enjoyed the naval battle, and I will see you next time.